before the rise of Christianity, paganism was widespread across Europe. And while most countries that were initially pagan, such as England, France, Germany, to name a few, converted well before the turn of the 11th century, some nations' paganistic ways lasted much, much longer. That is where the subject of this video comes in, being the last European nation to convert to Christianity, Lithuania. The first known contact between the Lithuanians and Christian missionaries occurred in 1009 when a group of Chalcedonian missionaries, led by Bruno of Quirfert, baptised several rulers of the Jotvingians, a nearby Baltic tribe. On top of this, around this time, the Lithuanians had active contacts with the Kievan Rus and other Eastern Slavic states which had adopted Eastern Orthodox Christianity following the Christianization of the Kievan Rus in the 10th century. As the Dukes of Lithuania extended their dominion eastwards in the following centuries, the influence of these Slavic states on their culture greatly increased, which is evidenced by the rise in popularity of many East Slavic versions of Christian names during that period in Lithuania. Despite all this influence, none of the leaders of Lithuania, or Grand Dukes as they were known at that time, actually converted to Christianity or were even baptised until 1250, when Mindaugas, following the emergence of a hostile monastic state around the Lithuanian borders and surrounded by enemies, was pushed into agreeing to receive a baptism and relinquish control over some lands in Western Lithuania, for which he was to receive a crown in return. Mindaugas and his family were baptised in the Catholic Rite in 1250 or 1251, and on the 17th of July 1251, Pope Innocent IV issued a papal bull proclaiming Lithuania a kingdom and that the state was placed under the jurisdiction of the Bishop of Rome. Honouring the previously made agreement, Mindaugas and his wife Morda were crowned sometime during the summer of 1253, and the Kingdom of Lithuania, formerly a Christian state, was established. As I've come to find though, formality and reality are often very different things in history, and although Lithuania was officially meant to be a Christian state, there were no fruitful efforts to convert its population, with even now King Mindaugas himself not ceasing the worship of his ancestral gods. Unsurprisingly, as a result of this opposition towards conversion from the common folk, Mindaugas' successors did not express much interest in following in Mindaugas' footsteps, However, they did use their nation's pagan status as an effective diplomatic tool and weapon that allowed them to use promises of conversion as a means of preserving their power and independence. Grand Duke Algirdas, in particular, pursued an option of dynamic balance, and throughout his reign teased both Avignon and Constantinople with the prospects of a conversion. As a result of all this teasing, several unsuccessful attempts were made to negotiate the full conversion of Lithuania around this time. The final attempt to Christianize Lithuania was made by Grand Duke Jogaila. Jogaila's Russian mother urged him to marry Sophia, the daughter of Prince Dmitri of Moscow, who first required him to convert to Orthodoxy and make Lithuania a fief of the Grand Duchy of Moscow. Those demands, however, were unrealistic and unlikely to halt the Crusades against Lithuania by the Teutonic Order. Jogaila therefore chose to accept a Polish proposal to become a Catholic and marry Queen Jadwiga of Poland. Jogaila was subsequently baptised at the Wawel Cathedral in Krakow on the 15th of February 1386 and became King of Poland. This royal baptism was then followed by the conversion of most of Jagela's court and knights, as well as Jagela's brothers and cousin. Jagela returned to his Lithuanian homeland in February 1387, with the baptism of the nobility in the areas around Vilnius following soon after. After the building of Kaum's churches and the conversion of many nobles and peasants, on the 19th of April 1389, Pope Urban VI officially recognised the status of Lithuania as a Roman Catholic state. Samogitia was the last ethnic region of Lithuania to become Christianised in 1413 following the defeat of the Teutonic Order in the Battle of Grunwald and the Peace of Thorn and its subsequent return to Lithuanian control. Even though now all the ethnic regions of Lithuania had officially been Christianised, Paganism remained strong among the peasantry, with only the nobles being the main converts to Catholicism. Pagan customs prevailed for a long time among the common people of Lithuania, likely helped by the fact that there had been no prosecution of priests and adherents of the old faith. 
However, with all their surrounding nations and now their leaders converting to Christianity, it was only a matter of time before the common folk followed suit, and by the 17th century, the Roman Catholic faith had essentially taken precedence over earlier pagan beliefs. Well, that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. But, with all that being said, as always, I hope you guys have a great day, night, wherever you are. And I hope to see you in the next one.